This is basically what most beauty gurus do. Tell me you don't like this. I mean, this is totally gorgeous. Like, this is a spice. This is a whole meal. I love it. What are your thoughts, guys? All right, so hey loves and welcome back again to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys two ways, <laughs> actually two ways to spice up your background. And if you're someone who films like a plain background, I'm gonna be showing you how you can spice it up to look something like this or like this. And these are very affordable, very beginner friendly, as well as very budget friendly as well. So if you're someone who is interested, you're looking for tips, tricks, motivation, inspiration, then this video is definitely for you. If you're a beginner and you're trying to create your own YouTube studio setup, then this is something you definitely want to watch. So yeah, keep on watching. All right, love. So this is typically how you can definitely set up by filming. If you guys want to know how I set up my backdrop, I'll leave a video right here so you guys can click and check all of that. But this is typically a good way to start. But if you want to level up, if you want to change the scene, if you want to spice up your background a bit, and if you also want to create like a depth between you and the background, because now I feel like it's flat, it's like it's just like me and then wall. Yeah, I don't like that. So if you want to spice it up, I'm going to be showing you two ways in this video. Now, the first way I want to show you guys is just creating a hello, a hello. <laughs> creating a halo around yourself and this is something that's very popular with beauty bloggers with bloggers as well and it's just lighting up the center of your backdrop that way you get like that halo around you and that way your background looks like it has two different colors whereby it's just one color that way it kind of makes your background pop as well i'm going to be showing you how i do that and then taking you guys along with me as well so yeah let's Right, so to create my halo background, I'm gonna be using light and I am obsessed with lighting guys you probably already know that by now I'm gonna be using this light. This is a very popular light in my channel because I use this for everything Everything I use this to illuminate my face kind of give my face a glow I use this for my background. I use this to add like a different light scene mood I'll leave a link here so you guys can see and know what I'm talking about But this one is one um, Backlight you can definitely use or you can actually DIY like I did and this is my DIY version I just use LED panels if you're someone who is on a low budget actually these things are actually cheap You can get the ones that come in like a bulb set. I'll leave the link down in the description box. But what I love about this one is that you can kind of like change the colors by adding filters to it. I'm gonna be showing you what I'm talking about now, but generally speaking, I'm gonna just make this white just so we can get like that halo going on behind me. So let me just put this now. This is how I have it set up right now. I don't know if you guys can see how the background kind of looks illuminated over here. Let me just increase the intensity of that light so now this is the brightest i definitely could work with this what you want to do is to place this behind you so that you guys don't see it <laughs> so place this directly behind you so that it illuminates your back as well as illuminating the background as well so let me just put this okay so yeah this is one way to go i definitely love this i love using this on like a darker background or a darker um backdrop this is what it looks like again i use fabric as my backdrop i'll have another video here showing you guys everything and my but how i set this up for like someone who is beginning and wants to create your own studio this is definitely one way to go it's inexpensive it's easy and it just requires a little to no space to set up so this is what we're looking like right now as you guys can see my background is lit i have like a halo a light around me and i feel like i'm popping like it's it's not as flat as it was before now i'm standing out now I feel like an angel ah. so yeah um this is definitely one way you can go about it I'm gonna be showing you guys my DIY how I DIY this all you need is just like a light source for me I use an LED panel because I don't I, I love the fact that it doesn't emit so much heat what I did was that I just attached uh, What's this called? I attached like a plug to it and then I attached an elastic band so that way this is kind <laughs> This is kind of ghetto, but guys, you just have to make it work. To be honest with you, you have to make it work. You use what you have, make it work. So what I'm doing, what I do is that I just put this behind me. This way we still get like that halo um, lights behind me. I put this behind me 
right here okay so now i just put this light i'm going to go ahead to just turn this on so you guys can see how it's going to eliminate my background as well we still get like that light behind us and i absolutely love it this is what it looks like with my backlight that way it's illuminating the background it's making the background stand out even more and this is what it looks like without it i mean you get the gist now right <laughs> so yeah this is what we're looking like right now and i love it <laughs> so i'm gonna quickly take you back to this led light right here and show you guys what i also love about this i love that it comes with filters as well so it comes with one clear filter it comes with one red one a blue one and an orange one so you can definitely kind of spice up the background you can make the background look blue you can create like a blue spotlight with this come on like wearing like a blue shirt so we might as well just do this let's just do this you always want to make sure that it's behind you so that way the audience <laughs> don't see it i'm just gonna put on the lights can we see that can you guys see what i'm talking about and the blue isn't really showing because the the background or the backdrop is pink this is basically what most beauty gurus do you can add a different color to it if your backdrop was maybe purple should i get my purple backdrop hard life decisions <laughs> all right love so i went ahead to just change my backdrop a bit yes it is creasy it's creasing up and that's because i folded them and that's because i'm using fabrics so don't come for me but it's creasing i can't be bothered to steam it or iron it but this is what it looks like with this let me show you guys when i just stay in front of it again just ignore the creases but this is what it would look like i kind of like this background why don't i film with it it's giving me life all right so let's move on to my second tip on how to spice up your background <laughs> so another thing you could do is to just add fairy light to your background i remember i filmed this video and you guys absolutely love the background you guys wanted me to recreate that background so that's what we're doing now we're recreating that background this is the same backdrop i used i'm just going to show you guys how i did that i'm going to just hang my fairy lights over um this backdrop and literally that's it that's it it's that easy you're gonna see like it's gonna give like a bokeh effect it's gonna brighten up the background even more and it's just going to give off different shades different colors you would love it let me show you guys what i'm talking about okay guys so this is definitely one way you can go about it but i hate when the lights are flickering and when they are moving i just like them to be static i'm gonna just control that all right love so this is definitely one way you can go you can just add christmas lights and that kind of makes the background stand out even more it looks like it's a different backdrop it doesn't even look as wrinkled as it was looking when i first started but now it looks like it's popping it's like there's a party going on behind me and it just gives the background a little bit of life a little bit of character a little bit of spice and it just kind of adds to the mood and to the set up entirely and the amazing thing is that you can do this trick on any color of background any color of backdrop you can use this on the pink one on this red one a yellow one a green one blue one white black um i think i should try should we, should we, should we, should we? Ah! okay let's try so you guys can see what it looks like and then try the pink as well okay so this is what it looks like filming with my 50 mm lens <sighs> yeah okay. yeah so this is what it looks like with the pink backdrop and it's something that you could definitely work with if you're starting off again this thing doesn't take up space it's literally on my wall and i'm sitting in front of my wall so you guys can see that we can definitely manage this space and create amazing content no matter how small your bedroom is or your filming space is as long as you have a wall to work with hang it up then hang this one up and then you're good to go guys tell me you're not loving this backdrop definitely feel free to play around with the colors of your background your backdrop and just have fun with it guys it's not that serious just have fun with it and the good thing about this is that as i'm coming closer to you guys the background would be looking even more blurry and amazing look at that tell me you don't like this 
tell me you don't like this. So, the closer you are to the camera and farther away from the background, the more the bokeh would be really popping, the more it would be bokeh, the more blurry the background would be. But the closer you are to the background, the less blurry it would be. So, closer, more blurry, less blurry. Get it? So now we can see the difference and kind of have an idea of how this works. But yeah, I mean, this is totally gorgeous. The shade, the color is amazing. Like this is a spice. This is a whole meal. This is a meal for a week. <laughs> I love it. So let me just change this back to my pink background and let us get this party going. I feel like this background goes with my eyeshadow <laughs> but I like it I like it what are your thoughts guys I feel like if I smoothen the background a little bit if I stretch it out a little bit let me just do that so having to put this up and remove it it is so stressful but this is what it's looking like right now um i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of variety so you can have an idea of what it will look like when you're using it against different backdrops it's going to be the same thing just that it pops even more the background pops even more okay loves so this is the end of this entire video i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is how you can spice up your background on a budget just play around with things i already have light up your background kind of add more light to it. lighting is everything i've been saying it i'll still say it and i'm going to keep on saying it lighting is everything just adding christmas lights moving a little bit close to the lens and farther away from the background we just create like a bokeh effect and it's just amazing if you want to brighten the background even more you can do this and at the same time add a uh, backlight like that led light i showed you guys earlier on that way the background will be really bright so yeah let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this this is definitely something i've been preaching since i am a sucker for christmas lights i'm a sucker for lighting in general so um this is definitely one way you can spice up your background as opposed to having it look plain and blank if that's look you're going for fine that is very minimalistic so if that's your vibe then beautiful that's amazing at the same time but if you want a little bit of change sometimes you can do this maybe we won't have like a white sheer cutting to kind of soften the lights but still give like that white bright um, effect if you want to mix it with colors like i did go ahead if you want to play around with led lights that has colors go ahead that way you're changing up your environment you're giving your viewers a different view a different feel a different scene that way you just don't feel bored and stuck doing one having like one setup because that's something that i can't like I, I that's why i keep changing my setup like almost every week i just I, I don't get bored but i like to give you guys like a different theme a different feel just to change things around so that way i stay motivated every time it's just me i don't know about you but yeah if you're looking for a way to spice up your background your backdrop this is definitely one way you can do that so let me know what you guys think how you feel about this entire video down in the comment section what color did you prefer i know most of you prefer either the pink one or the orange one i feel like if you use a darker or the proper one the lilac one i feel like if you use a darker backdrop background um backdrop with this light it's going to pop even more and it's going to look way attractive it's going to look really nice against like a darker um background but with this light one we're still getting like that like heavenly vibe and that's what we get with this one so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment down below what you guys feel about this entire video. And yeah, check out my other videos on my background, my lighting setup, how I create like different scenes using my lighting as well, as well as my camera settings, my lens settings, literally everything that would help you start off with creating content on YouTube or video content in general. I have a lot of videos on that so definitely check that over here I'll, I'll like my playlist here as well um yeah that's the end of this video i'll see you guys in my next one before you leave make sure to stay fabulous and stay blessed guys bye